account there are two users one is system and the other one is application users system user is that we create a users in ldap or st pass wd we create the users right the other user is application user for that users we create a dummy user and then assign some privileges to that user so that it can perform the task take an example that in the deployment or stateful set you need to add the credential if you add your credential other people will see your password for that reason in kubernetes or in open shift we create service account and then assign some privileges so that it can work as per our need so let's focus on this question service account first we need to create the lab and then we will talk about what is the question here okay let me clear the window here let's check what is given in this question Create a service account called EX280SA, SA means service account, in Alpha project. This project is already created for you. That's great. After that, it is mentioned that there is an application already running and service account should be associated with any UID SCC. Now, what is this any UID? The full form of SCC is security context constraint. In Red Hat OpenShift, the any UID security context constraint allow port to run with any user ID and group ID without granting them host access. This SCC is used to ensure port does not have restricted access to host while still allowing them to run with any UID and GID, which can be useful for application requiring specific user ID for tasks like accessing files or services okay and i will cover another video where i will explain everything but let's focus on this question how to solve this okay the very first thing is that we first we need to go to the project alpha as per the question it is asked us to create the service account right this is my service account that i need to create OC create service account service and a press tab it will auto complete I don't know the command or I forget the command what we can do help and here less now here it is mentioned that how we can create the service account if you forget then you have to execute this command okay up arrow key and then remove service account and ex280 minus n alpha it is not required but yes you can execute this command and how you can check post check is always mandatory in the exam point of view or you can say that in the production environment right so oc get service account and one can observe the newly created service account okay let me clear the window here after that the first task is complete we created the service account in the alpha project this project is already created now there is an application already running we can execute the command oc get all and service account should be associated with any suid that's great let execute the command oc get all now i can see that my pod is in crash loop back status let me copy the name and execute the command oc logs control shift free if i check the logs it says that insufficient permission it means that this user is trying to create something and it is not allowed or we can say that insufficient permission cannot create directory for that reason we can assign the any uid scc in openshift there is a concept that we can raise the permission or you can say that escalate the privileges in kubernetes we use security context but here we have one command oc adm policy and then hyphen hyphen l again you can press enter you will see that what you can add here now here i need to add add scc this is here and we need to add for user because service account is my user so i should use this one let me copy and paste over here any uid is already given in my question so i'm just using any uid minus z is my service account name my service account name is 280-sa 
let me explain again oc admin policy here i'm adding add sec add security context constraint to user and this is my policy and minus z is that i'm adding this user inside this namespace if i will be on different namespace then i should use the full path okay so let me hit the enter here as per the output it is added here let me clear the screen when i execute this command we have added the system account user in this policy right but as of now we haven't added this user in the deployment but as per the question this is completed now if we go to the second question it says that deploy application in the project alpha we are already in the alpha project there is one pod already running modify the application as it should run with any user as provided by the application and application should produce the output any user means any uid and when i execute this command oc get all it is still in crash loop back status and it says that you need to add the service account to this deployment so that it will get the privileges so what you can do here oc set set the service account again i don't know the command so i can use hyphen hyphen help command and here you will see that bunch of output here if you scroll up you will see that the very first one is a oc set service account deployment and then deployment name and then service account name the same thing we will use here oc set service account and then deployment name and it is not auto complete so what i can do here control c oc get all now i will set oc set service account after that deployment name is my this one copy and paste over here and then my service account name and my service account name is this one and you can check from the question the previous question that we created here this is my service account ex280-sa once i execute i can execute this command oc get all or you can execute oc get pod now it is in running state and this is also having a service and it should produce the output so maybe you can execute the command oc expose service and my service name is gitlab oc get all and now i can see the route and here i can check i can check this thing curl but one can observe that it is pointing to port number 22 so what we can do here we should check like this way telnet port number 22 if the command is there that's great and it is working fine it means that my question is resolved or you can see nc minus vz and then host name and also port number and it says that it is connected it means that everything is look good that's great control l and in this way our second question is also completed service account 